Jeg spørger, det her var. Something's different. You could hear. Is it your suit? Oh, yeah. It's a special outfit. I like seeing you in that position, actually. Enable Alex to bite his duck. You may not encroach upon the decking. Fastest wins. Also, the person who gets Alex the least wet gets a bonus point. Your time starts now. So you have to be able to bite the duck. I just want to bite the duck. Can you tell me how far the duck is in? Uh, the duck's at the bottom of the bucket. This is like a really filthy task. <laughs> You came up with this task, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. So you <laughs> dressed yourself in pink. I don't. Yeah. You tied yourself up. Yeah. And you said that the challenge is to help you to bite your duck. Well, enable. I went for enable. What's going on with you? <laughs> I think you're going through some difficult years. <laughs> <laughs> it is creepy when someone ties their self up. I, I, or I acts did... like they're so tied up, yeah. but really they can set tie yourself free. Up. You did Where are the people? There was the camera <laughs> crew. You asked them to tie you up. Yes. It's really weird, mate. <laughs> I think we're going to have to have a little chat afterwards. Yes. Anyway, the challenge is there for these mm. poor people to attempt. Mm -hmm. Here, then, is how Ardle and Chris got on. Sorry, Alex. <laughs> Nothing went in the bucket. This has worked quite well. Yeah. Is it uh, biteable yet? Not yet, no, Chris. I don't want to get you wet, Alex. So, um, try something like this. <laughs> Anywhere? Not yet. Nah. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> well, you can go fuck yourself, you can. Pardon? That's never going to fill up, is it? There's a hole in that bucket. The question is, is it coming out faster than it's going in? I'd say it is going up, but very slowly. Are you getting close to that duck yet? I can't see the duck. There's a pipe in the way. Oh, my God, it's not even on full power, you shit. Here it comes. Why is the shed getting wet? It's going out the end of the shed. This is a good hose. Oh, God. I think plan A again, Alex. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. Can you see the duck? Yeah, Chris. I can't see the duck. He's having a nice time. Is he? Yeah. OK, that's just going to take too long, so I'm just going to knock the bucket over. Mm -hmm. Now, you've got the duck. <laughs> hey! Oh, oh, oh. I told you we'd get there, Alex. Uh-huh. OK. See ya. OK. Doing some disgusting things to that duck. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Thank you, Chris. It's okay. And just because I think the taskmaster would respect it. Oh! Oh! I don't even care about the points. This is fucking great. This is therapy. Chris. Yeah. You can go now. Thanks, mate. Okay. Let your duck up your arse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christopher, I've, I've stopped giving bonus points, but I can't tell you what an absolute... how right you were <laughs> and how long that jet was. And, uh, and you know, you've got to share that glory with Ardle, who immediately threw a pan of water at Alex. <laughs> Chris was the last person to do the task, and he was the only one who discovered the elaborate uh, hole in the bucket, which let, went down through a pipe into my welly. <laughs> there we are. Right. Use the cement mixer for something other than mixing cement. Best use of a cement mixer other than mixing cement wins. Your time starts when Alex does an impression of you. I'm Chris Ramsey. <laughs> <laughs> time hasn't started yet, then. I'm, fr I'm afraid it has. <laughs> Where are you from? Gloucester. Taskmaster. Uh, are you joking? <laughs> Hi, babes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, that is so me. I haven't thought about this one. <laughs> oh. 
Thanks a million. <laughs> <laughs> okay. and, and we're off. OK. Right. There is just one little sausage left, and it's Christopher Ramsey. Welcome to the sausage arena. Thank you. Your sausage is on the red stick and ribbon, my sausage is on the blue stick and ribbon, matching with the headbands that I've made. Now, the first person to swallow a piece of their sausage and only their sausage wins. Goggles on. <laughs> you ready? Are you set? I'm set. Spin those sausages. Swallowed some sausage. I don't know anyone who wouldn't want to play sausage mixer. It was like a roller coaster with sausages <laughs> coming at you. So far, like, uh, I've really have I seen a sausage go from still to accelerating that fast. Yeah, well, I've Googled it. I don't think anyone has ever done that before. <laughs> of course they haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, wow. Oh, uh, no, that's made me very happy. This is very Mary Poppins. I really like it. Where do you want the umbrella to go? Up. OK. Hey. <sighs> Ooh! Oh, thank you. £50 note. It's like the best birthday ever. Get the most surprising thing delivered to the Taskmaster house. You have six hours? The time starts now. What, I could just order anything? Something surprising, please, Judy. See, in the northeast, I could surprise you all for how much 50 quid will get you. Got a house? Get a house, yeah. A couple of houses. I'm going to order me a man! <laughs> got a burrito for lunch. So you're thinking of that? I'm thinking of keeping the money. <laughs> so just... You have to say the magic words. Bye. Watching your delight at a small umbrella being lowered on some fishing wire <laughs> made me feel fatherly towards all of you. Yes. And then when you further went on to be so excited by the £50 that you had to spend, <laughs> I felt like you were all my weird children. Oh, Daddy! <laughs> it's called Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. We're conditioned. Well, it's for, for me too, Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> But I did, I found it really delightful, and I thought, oh, my God, all my cynicism's left me. How am I going to oh. judge them harshly? Mm. Then your suggestion started to come in. Um, as far as I can work out, it was a burrito, two northern houses and a male prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> so, unusually, they had six hours to get the surprising thing delivered. Shall we start? Yeah. Next up, we're going to have a delivery straight from Ramsey Street. Mm. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. There we are. Easy peasy.
but fair play to you. I wasn't expecting two things. I wasn't expecting you to use an actual human baby. <laughs> and I wasn't expecting to have the confusing feelings I had when you were beautifully shot walking across the... <laughs> 40 yards holding it. Double surprise. I feel a bit disturbed. Why? He bought a baby online. Oh, sorry, should it? <laughs> <laughs> Would you have felt better if it was sent down the drive on a skateboard? <laughs> So you bought a baby online. Listen, I didn't buy a baby online, that's ridiculous. I've got a guy. Here you go. They had to bring in today the object that you would most like to show to an alien. Chris. <laughs> it's me robot lawnmower. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, separately, away from this question, that's a lovely bit of kit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the reason is because I feel like aliens would either be well impressed or they'd improve it somehow, which would be win-win. I, I am struggling to see how it would excite the, the alien life force because of their advanced technology, Chris. Well, we don't know. It's all hypothetical. I mean, I, I, I'm looking at you, Alex. You didn't even like the bit at the beginning. It's about, it's an alien. We don't know anything about these aliens. Oh, he's gone too Geordie for me. <laughs> <laughs> Record the best multi-track song about your team. Oh, God damn it! You must record all six tracks with your voice or body. And each person must record the same number of tracks. Most powerful multi-track song wins. You have 20 minutes. <laughs> Worth reading the last line, I think, before... Uh, do you think? Should we read the last line? Your time starts now. Right. So why don't we could beatbox? I mean, I could whistle. Can anyone say? No. Well, <laughs> I have been told a few times that, you know, in my voice. OK, you're going to sing. OK. Track one, beat. Yeah. Track two, cymbal. OK. Track three, some kind of rattling noise. Yes, yes. Track four, vocals. Vocals, yes. Track five, vocals. OK. Track six, uh, humming or some shit. Yes. Yes, I like that one. <laughs> OK, OK. Do-do-do-do, do 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 <laughs> That's one song right there. That will do, that will, we'll do that then. I mean, obviously, we're hugely inspired by Taskmaster himself. Yeah. yeah. Always yes. keep that in mind, OK? I do like the sycophantic angle, I really Yeah, do. but we can't make it too unsubtle, you know what I mean? Right, OK, you've got to let them know. Well, we could say we do it sort of for you. Do it with you in mind. With you in mind. Let's just freestyle. We're like the freestyle house queens. That's, queens. that's quite queens. House queens. That's, that's house queens. House queens. Something about how unbreakable we are as a team. What's an unbreakable thing? Like what? Diamond. Diamond, yeah. We're actually called the Water Diamonds. <laughs> uh, so by the Water Diamonds. <laughs> the Water Diamonds are a band from Fleetwood. You're joking. No. Already a band. Yeah. The Tungsten Diamonds. Just checking it now. Why have we wasted at least five minutes coming up with a band name when that is literally <laughs> the most important thing at this whole godforsaken task? Well, straight away, I think the house queens seem to be driven by a baseless confidence. <laughs> <laughs> they were full of confidence. Bridget went her own way. Sure, whistling like my grandfather. <laughs> uh, perhaps less confident in the boys. You sort of had the energy of sort of two low-level bank clerks at a training <laughs> day. <laughs> yeah, and they've come up with an uplifting anthem to show you their love of you, but not too obviously. Oh, good. <laughs> I wouldn't want you to show it too obviously. <laughs> Here we go. It's a really old boy band called the Tungsten Diamonds. <laughs> Chris, 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 Chris. Oh, Chris, Chris. Ardlin, Chris, 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 and Ardlin, Chris, Chris. That's what they say. That's what they say. But our teen juice is even thicker than blood. Yeah, we care. We really, really care. In a high five standoff, we'll take your fucking hand off. Score a hat trick with a yoga ball stag, do banter with know it all. Cooler than ice sliding down a pole. And if you want an aubergine shifted, give us a call. You put an aubergine in my mouth. Yes, you put an aubergine in my mouth. We care and we want to please Mr. T. We love you, Mr. T. Everything we do, we 
me do it with you in mind, Mr. T. You inspire me. And Chris, 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 put an aubergine in my mouth. Chris, 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 I love you. Chris, Chris, Chris. I literally don't know what's going on. I, I, I don't know what I've just heard. <laughs> Annoyingly, um, the couple of tasks that I rapped about haven't been shown in the series, so that's including the aubergine one, yes. so that's just gobbledygook. Yes. Well, that's good to know, because I literally thought you'd gone mad. I don't, I don't know what he's talking about, this aubergine... T the women didn't have to do an aubergine no, task. Do an aubergine uh, task. I think he's making that up. OK. I, don't I put an aubergine in his mouth. I don't think we'd make you do yeah. that. Yeah! I can't... <laughs> You've got to I believe us! It, it doesn't sound like this show. <laughs> this is like a nightmare. It's like Blair Witch or something, sponsored by JD Sports. Display the shoe Alex is thinking of. All the other shoes must be out of sight at the end of your attempt. You may only ask yes or no questions and you must say, I have to find the shoe after every answer. You must shout, no way after every answer. I must say, OK, just one more thing after every answer. I must laugh with disbelief after every answer. I must get increasingly exasperated after every answer. Fewest questions wins. Your time starts now. So this is like, guess who? With shoes. So what's it called? Shoe who. OK. Guess shoe. Yeah. OK. If you think I'm not thinking of a particular shoe, please pop it out of that window. I will be counting any questions you ask. Maybe I don't have to ask any questions. It's one tactic. Mm. Do you like shoes? Yes. No way! <laughs> so that's... that's what we've got to do. <laughs> no way. That's the opening you went with, is it? Do you like shoes? <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit annoyed that that got counted. <laughs> yeah, I counted every question, every question. Oh, okay. Next up, it's Sophie Duker and Chris Ramsey. Ooh. No way! <laughs> is it a sporting shoe? No. No way! <laughs> Does the shoe have laces? No. Would you class this as a sport? No. No way! <laughs> Can I have these ones? Now then, is that a question? No! You were quite exasperated then. So I'm just not allowed to ask questions? No, is that a question? Oh, my God! I should have said sporty, cos there's a grey area here. Ah, you're putting on the fish shoes. Yeah. Does the shoe you're thinking of have laces? No. No way! <laughs> No grey area here, Chris. The grey area has gone. Does it have, like, a heel with height? Do you understand the question? Now, was that a question, whether I understood the question? Does it have a heel? No. No? Not really. What do you mean, not really? It's a yes or no question. Well, I think all shoes have heels. No, they don't. Does this have a heel of height? So that's another question. <laughs> Are you getting exasperated? Does the shoe you're thinking of have a closed toe? No. No way! <laughs> right, can you tell me how many questions I've asked? So, with that one, seven. No. No. Well, at least you're getting exasperated. <laughs> Is the shoe you're thinking of on my right? No. No way! <laughs> Is the shoe you're thinking of on that side of the room? No. The shoe you're thinking of on my right? Yes. No way! <laughs> Which one do you want? Both. Both my shoes. Hmm. A few of them are better than the others. Yeah. Oh, that was wrong. That was wrong. The claws tool thing. I've confused myself. 
doesn't seem very exasperated. <laughs> okay, it does. It does. Oh, does the shoe you're thinking of have a buckle on it? No. No way! <laughs> Would the shoe that you're thinking of make you feel bold in ballerinas? Yes. Are you thinking of the right shoe? No. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Alex. Weirdly fun. Weirdly fun. <laughs> Chris Ramsey enters all tasks like a bouncy, happy puppy. Yes. And he was the only person not to leave that room hating you. Yes. As Pretty evidenced happy. by Sophie's face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> by the end of it, I just thought you wanted to murder him. Yes. <laughs> I think I was getting increasingly exasperated, but forgetting that was what you'd asked me to do. <laughs> Both similar systems. The geography system is the way to do it. If you just divided them in half each time, you'd get the shoe in seven questions. What Chris did well, he barely wasted a question. Thirteen in total. It's oh. pretty impressive. Ready? I don't know. <laughs> Four, that was... Yeah? Devise a duel and have the duel with Alex. That's you. Line. You have 20 minutes to devise your duel and have the duel with Alex. Most exhilarating duel wins. Your time starts now. Do you think you're going to win the duel? Yeah, probably. I mean, I usually win duels. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> have you had a duel before? No, I've never dueled anyone. I don't think I was going to have to duel you. Are you good at throwing? Yeah. No, I don't want that, Lynn. What are you, what are you crap at? DIY. Uh, two more now. It's time for Bridget and Chris. <laughs> Rules are simple ish. You've got to be on all fours. You have to throw as many balls as you can into the other player's basket. Okay. Basketball. It may have been the white vests that made me think you were going to kiss at some point. <laughs> There's a lot of heavy panting. <laughs> now, was it a duel? That's the question. Yeah. There's two men going at it. <laughs> so a game of table tennis is now a duel all of a sudden, or a, like a game of turtle ball or whatever they were playing. Oh, sorry, I mean... sorry, Otto, was there not enough groceries involved? <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now! <laughs> <laughs>